Hi. Let's solve today's daily challenge. That is find first palindromic string in the array. So we are given an array of strings called words and we need to return the first palindromic string in the array. And if there is no such string, we have to return an empty string. Right. So first of all, let's understand what a palindromic string means. Right. So palindromic string basically means that if you read the, a particular string forwards in this direction and in backwards manner, you get the same answer. Okay, let's say I take, let's say I take car here. Okay, so I have car. So if I read car in forward manner, it will be C-A-R only. If I read it in backward manner, well, what will I get? I will get R, A and C. Now these two strings, if they match, then it is a palindrome. But here we can see that these two characters do not match. So it is not palindromic. Now let us take race car. So if I take race car. So this is how we read it forward direction. Then if I read it in backward direction, then we would have R first, R, A, C, then E, C, A, R, E, C, A, R. Now you can see R matches R, A matches A, C matches C, E, C, A, R, E, C, A, R. Right? C, E, C, A, R. Correct? So both of these strings match. Hence, this race car string is called palindrome or palindromic string. Alright, so now I hope what a palindrome or palindromic string means is clear. Now, what we have to do in this question is that we need to find the first palindromic string out of the different strings we are given inside of the words array. So these are the strings given to us. Now let us see which of these are palindromes first, right? So I can see that ABC is not a palindrome, correct? Because it will be C, B, A. So B matches but C and A would not match. Similarly, car we already saw it's not a palindrome. A, D, A. If I read it backward, what will happen? We will get A, D, A. So yes, it is a palindrome. Then race car we just saw, it is a palindrome. But cool again, it will be L, O, O, C, which is not a palindrome. So I know A, D, A and race car, both of these are palindrome. But I need to return the first palindromic string. So I can say A, D, A is my first palindromic string that appears in the word array. So that is the whole question and that is what we have to do. So now let us discuss how we will solve it. Okay. So, uh, well, now when it's clear that what a palindrome is, it becomes very easy to solve this question. Right. So palindrome basically means that if you have a particular string, right, if you reverse it, if you reverse it, so that reverse string and your current string, if they match, then it is a palindrome. So we can solve this question by reversing each and every string inside of this and comparing it with these, these strings only. So what we will do, we will first loop from i is equal to 0 to n and then for each string, for each string, what we will do, we will check if this, so we will take s as, okay, a, b, c and we will do what? We will reverse s. After reversing S, let's say I store it in T. I will simply check if T equal equal S. Okay. So wherever this condition, while looping in this loop from I0 to N becomes true, as there only, we have to return this string S. Correct. So this is basically how we can solve it. Now, uh, I will not go and, you know, use any functions here. That is reverse function, etc. I want to solve this without using those functions, right? So I'll reverse it myself. So what will I say? I'll write a function, right? And there I would be checking if the string is palindrome or not. Okay. So uh, why I'm trying to discuss this is to uh, show you that what a palindromic string is and this concept can be used in a lot of places and in complex problems, this can help you like uh, boil down the problem and solve it faster, right? So, um, there was one question that came in this weekend's contest uh, on this Sunday only. 
in uh, 384 lead code weekly contest and that question was related to palindromes only so you can go and watch it on my youtube as well so there we had to like use this logic right of pairs to solve that question so let me tell you how using pairs we check what a palindrome is right so right now we said uh, you just reverse the string so you check if it is a palindrome or not you just check the string and the reverse string they must they must match but what is the other way to check for palindrome now for palindrome what can happen is if string length is even right it becomes very easy for us to check correct so what i can do is let's say i take a b a d d a b a so this string you can see is an even length string right now here what i can do is i can simply compare this and this index variable correct so if these two index match then i will move to the next indexes so i will check here so if they match i will move to the next index right so we are just having two pointers like let's say i have i here and j here and we simultaneously check for i and j and we increment the pointers right if they match so this way we move correct so j is moved j is decremented by one and i is incremented by one simultaneously we are checking so we check for a then for b then for a right and then we would be here so in the last iteration i and j would be here and i can see that all the characters at i and j match that means that this is a palindrome right so what we are saying is you just check for these pairs right if you want to create a palindrome this and this should match then the next once they should match so only then i would be getting the reverse of the string as this is string only correct now what happens when the string length is odd if the string length is odd then here in race car you can already see what happens is only one element that is in the mid is allowed to appear with odd frequency okay so we have race car so by odd frequency i'm only pointing out that it is allowed to appear without any pair right it can appear as a single element but rest of the string elements must be in pairs right let me write it here so we have r a c a scar right so here you can see r appears in pair right here we have pair of r then of a then of c but e can come in the middle without any pair so it's just that so again i'll do the same i'll have i and j and i will check for these positions and we'll move forward check for this position right and move forward check for this position and that's it we don't have to check for the middle position because we already know but it is an odd length palindrome so this has to be only one element in the middle so that is it so we are only going to check for these pairs and then we will solve this question okay so inside of is palindromes as we saw we have to take two pointers so i'll take i pointer and j pointer so i pointer will be initially at the zeroth position and j pointer will be at n minus one position and then we will be looping in while i is less than j and why not i less than equal to j because we already saw in even case that condition will not arise right and in odd case what will happen is the index would become equal but there we actually don't have to check because there would be only one element as we saw e in this case right i and j both are here right so why do we have to explicitly check because i know even if it, this is not appearing in pairs still the string would be palindromic all right so we'll loop through i less than j and then we will check if s of i is not equal to s of j minus minus so as we know these are um this operator what what it would do it will first compare the value at s of i and then increment i and this will check uh, the value at s of j and then increment then decrement j okay so we will check this condition if this is 
not uh, the case that s of i is equal to s of j then we have to return false so it will be a boolean function and we will simply return false because as we saw that these pairs they have to match only then our string can be a palindrome correct so this will uh, we will check and after that after this loop if there was no place when this condition was true we have to return true that means the string is palindromic and what we will do we will again loop through words and we would for each of its string we will pass it inside of the palindrome function and we will check if it is a palindrome or not if this function returns us true then and there we will return that particular string so in this case what will happen as soon as we come to ada this function will return us true and we can break the loop from there right and it will be our answer so that is the whole logic to solve the problem and uh, uh, let's discuss the time complexity here only so the time complexity for this as you can see is we are looping through words right and let's say uh, words length is n okay we have n strings here and let's say the largest string that uh, we can have in words is of m length right so because we are looping like this we are iterating in that string we are iterating m by two times because obviously this while loop would be operating up to this i index would only go up to n by 2 so it will be m by 2 but by 2 we really don't uh, have to care about because we have nm we take the upper bound so the time complexity becomes big o of nm where n is the length of words array and m is the length of the largest string inside of the words array so that is the time complexity and space complexity as you can see we are not using any space so it's constant so now let us go ahead and code it i hope the solution is clear okay so as i said we have to create this boolean function is palindrome and here we will pass a string s and then we will take two pointers so first pointer i will be at zeroth position and the last point of j will be at s dot length minus 1th position right that is n minus 1 then we would loop until i is less than j what we will check we will check if s of i plus plus is not equal to s of j minus minus then that means we have arrived at a character which is breaking the palindromic property okay that means it will make the string non-palindromic so we have to return false that is whatever string we had it is not palindromic then if we pass through this while loop then uh, true will be returned which means that there was no such character where uh, the pairs didn't match right so we can return true that means string is palindrome now here inside of this function what we have to do we have to start iterating in words string uh, words array right and what we will do we will simply call for each of the string inside of the words array we will call is palindrome function so we will say is palindrome and we will pass words of i here if it is we will simply return words of i right now let us say we did not find any palindromic string right then we have to return an empty string so we will say return this so that is it that is the whole logic for the question let's quickly run it it's accepted so this is basically how we have to solve this question